Hi everybody, my name is Bethany. Welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who haven't seen me in a little while, I've been a little bit busy uh, this past, no, uh, sorry, October. Um, I had my first in-person boutique since 2019. So there was a lot to do, a lot of special orders, and so I had to take a little break. Plus I wanted to spend some time focusing on my family. For a little bit before the holidays ramped up and guess what it's november so we can officially talk about preparing for the holidays for those of you who are like me you've been shopping since probably september but <laughs> i like to make as many things as i buy that's my goal every year is to make about 50 percent of the things and buy the 50 the other 50 percent so um let me change the camera real quick and I'll show you what I'm working on. So the last time I was with you all, I had a lot of new full leather projects that I was starting on. And I did a little bit of an experiment with different types of glue. So I experimented with the E6000. I experimented with the art glitter glue and also this very, very, very old hot glue gun. You can see here, this is obviously the hot glue gun, what it looks like. You see there's lots of excess. I had to cut and trim to make it look nice and pretty. For longevity, it's probably not the greatest. This is the E6000. It's a little bit rubbery in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but it still holds up pretty well. This has been sitting here for a little while. And also the art glitter glue here. The art glitter glue leaves a little film if you aren't able to clean it up, but it is a nice, strong, firm grip. For me, I feel like you almost need a combination of all three to get a good product, especially if you're selling these or making these for a family and you have rough children who like to tear and pull at things. For a quick you know, grab of the faux leather, you wanna use the, art, uh, the glue gun but the art glitter glue feels like it's going to last the longest. The only problem is it is a very soupy glue. It will drip everywhere versus the E6000, which is a little bit more elastic um, and movable, but still leaves that. Uh, it doesn't, it definitely does not grip and hold for very long. It'll hold for about half a second and then it'll just pull apart. So you kind of need to create a combination of it all in order to get a professional result. So this is just uh, some press and seal cling wrap. So this bow, I will link another tutorial when I've created it, but I already have it completed. This is a thicker faux leather that has um, the mini mouse on top. And then this is a thinner, very, very paper thin, like the thinness probably of cardstock easily. So I have the glue gun heated up here. I'm gonna just put a small dab, just enough to get it to adhere. And then I'm gonna do the art glitter glue because anytime it's faux leather on faux leather, the art glitter glue just seems to respond the best. Of course, I'm over generous right now. <laughs> so don't do what I just did. But that's why this is an experiment. The nice thing about the art glitter glue, though, is it cleans up super nicely. So you don't have to worry too much about overdoing it. And then, and hold it closed. And then I'm going to clip it closed here, as flush as I can get them. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry. In the meantime, I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna actually just use the art glitter glue for this one right there in the middle. Put each of the sides. The nice thing about using art glitter glue, it doesn't, it doesn't give off a toxic smell like the E6000. So you're not having to keep a fan on or anything when you're working. That's another benefit. So while those are drying, I am going to clean up a little bit and then we can get on to the next part. Now that these have had a little bit of time to dry, they're still not super good. If I use super glue, 
they would be okay. But they're still, it usually takes about a full 24 hours of pressing. But for the sake of this experiment, we're just going to add a little extra dab of hot glue on the outside. If I were just using strictly hot glue, this would set within probably 20 minutes tops, maybe even a little less, and I could have a full bowl made within that time. But since we're doing a little cheating on our experiment here, it's okay. Um, so now, once you have the top and the bottom done, what you want to do is you want to do that dab of hot glue and because the hot glue is only going to be in the middle portion it's not part of keeping it structurally sound since we're doing the bow wrap around it we can just use the hot glue you don't need to use anything else and for the sake of time it's more convenient and you see that little excess i'm just going to push it if your fingers can handle the hot glue otherwise i would say put on one of these and push it like that found these little finger grips at the Dollar Tree and they're great for working with glue projects hot glue regular glue any type of glue so then I'm gonna let it sit here for a minute so now the glue has had a little bit of time to set and what we're gonna do is another quick set I'm gonna take off the little excess of the hot glue here first before we do that but I like to do where the fold goes down. So since I want the Minnie Mouse ears facing this way, I'm going to place the back at the bottom first, then the top second. So for that initial one, I'm going to just strictly use the tackiness of the hot glue. Just a little dot will do for that. And let it press and shouldn't take too long for it to stay you don't want to put the other one on right away because it will slide off both all right now I'm gonna line it up where I like it and then I'm going to use the art glitter glue and I might have used too much. But again, for leather, for the faux leather on faux leather, it's the best. So I'm going to clean off the excess glue here with a baby wipe. It's kind of a dry baby wipe, so it's not going to leave residue itself. But this way, I'll be able to get a nice clean press without having too much excess glue going on. You can see right there. Just clean it off just a little bit more before I press it. Otherwise, it'll get stuck to my clip here. And these clips are awesome. They're also a Dollar Tree find. And then I'm just going to let it sit there and press for a little bit. All right, now that it's had a little bit of time to dry, we're going to go ahead and put it on the clip. So the clip, there's a flat side, and then there's a curved side. Obviously, you'd want to put the bow on the flat side. So I like to line it up so I can see what... I'm looking at because this clip happens to have that hole in the middle it's not the best for this project but I am throwing all the curve balls here so you can see what I do with it so first I'm going to do an initial glob of the yes I said glob of the hot glue just to get it to place I'm going to do that right in the middle now that I have the middle placed what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the precision tip of the E6000 and I'm going to put in a line of the glue here. So I use the E6000 for the heavier part on the clip where it's going to get the most use. And then I'm going to use the art glitter glue against the smaller, finer part because that's where your customers are going to see a little bit more. Now another trick I use, what I do is I stick a piece of parchment paper, especially because there's these holes, and let it dry with the parchment paper in between. Otherwise, what's on the other side will end up on this nice clip side. 
and that doesn't look professional as well. So I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little bit and then we will see the end results. So after letting the hair bow dry overnight, this is the end result. So as you can see, it looks a lot more professional, a lot more clean than if you just used the hot glue or the art glitter glue or the E6000. So it'll be perfect for putting on a little card if you want to sell them nice and professionally. And I will eventually link below um, one of these. But also, it's great to put right in your hair right away. Right, Miss? Ready? Ooh, so beautiful. And she's going to take it out right away. All right, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we hope to see you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. No, not today. Bye.